right. Well, we are back. This is our first episode with Bonnie Rig Rose Athletic Football Club. Say hi to my cat. That's my $3,000 cat. He has a genetic defect, I guess, and he's had to be in the vet several times in his first two years of life. Uh, but anyway, we are at Bonnie Rig Rose. I love the name. They are in Midlothian. I guess that's the county, right? Yes, the historic county. Uh, not, you know, not being from England, I'm not sure how they're divided up. I think the counties there are very similar to states in the United States. Each one is their own unique area. <laughs> so you have a county seat, I believe. Uh, but we play at New Dundas Park. Now, this is uh, real life now. So they play at New Dundas Park with a 2200 capacity. Uh, so that's nice. Founded in 1881. And looks like they, they won the East of Scotland Football League and gained their inaugural membership into the Scottish Football Association just this past June. So they are a relatively new arrival, it looks like, to the organized leagues of English football. So that is good. Now you have to keep in mind, it's 2020 in real life, and we're in 20, what's 2065 in, in the game. So, uh, and if any of the new uh, Bonnie Rig Rose fans or players, welcome to the channel. Uh, I hope to do you proud. Uh, so let's take a quick look. We're going to jump over to the map here. All right, so there is the world. Um, I guess that's known roads and whatnot. We don't know. We don't know if Russia has roads. And there's certainly no roads up in northern Canada. And China doesn't let you have access to any information. But we're going to... The coronavirus right about there. Yeah. All right. We're going to zoom in here. So we are in the United Kingdom. Up into Scotland. There's Inverness. That's where uh, Loch Ness is, correct? Pretty sure. Is near Inverness. I believe that is that oh, well so we're gonna move in all right here's a Glasgow I've heard of that and I have heard of Dunfermline and Edinburgh I've heard of those so we are on the outskirts of Edinburgh we're gonna zoom in just a little bit more all right, so there's our community, Lost, Lost Wade, Hopefield. And so these are the city streets, and there is our pitch. All right, so we got a little circle up here. That looks like, you know, apartments, uh, duplexes and whatnot. Uh, ooh, we've got a linen cleaning service over there. We may contract with them for our kit cleaning. Campbell Brothers, a meat wholesaler. All right, so we can get our protein. They are closed today. Fast Recovery, Transportation Services, Laundry Services, Baked or Naked, a bakery. All right, maybe we can get some uh, some healthy baked goods for our boys here. Uh, convenience Store. The Waverly Hotel, I'll probably be staying there until we find a place to live. It's pretty close to the pitch there. Simply Done Beauty Treatments. Oh, driving Instructors, all right. Some of our young players will probably go there. Architectural Design. All right, well, let's zoom in a little bit more. Do we have a stand? This looks like the uh, player area. So this looks like our stand. Maybe we've got a couple of stands over here. It's hard to tell. We've got a hairdresser back off the touch line. All right. Well, let's start. Uh, let's start right here and see what we can see. All right. Well, there's some housing. But that looks like the back of our pitch there. Can I move that way? 
Oh, there we go. Got to find the little touch button. No? It's not working with me here, dude. All right, can we get down here on the corner? Oh, there we go. All right, so we've got a little bit of a, a turn here. There's our, there's our pitch. So that does look like a little covered stand. All right, so we want to try. I don't believe I'm going to be able to see anything from here. Nope. All right, and I think I may have just remembered how to move around here. Can we see anything from right there? Oh, here we go. That's probably the best view we're going to get. All right, so that looks like probably our clubhouse, dressing room. That looks like a covered area. And I was expect. oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Can I get up in there? No, nope. I want to come. No, nope. that's as far as I can go. All right, I don't think I'm going to get any better. So I don't know. That doesn't. That is not a seating area. So I don't know if we even have any stands. It does not appear that we have stands. This this is it, I think, this little shed. That's got to be the seating area, yeah? All right, can I move this way? Yes, I can. So, yeah, that's got to be the seating area, I am guessing. What I can usually do is if we go to... New... What's the name of the park? New Dundas Park. All right, see photos. Oh, there we go. Yes, there's our seating area. Ta-da, the power of the internet. All right, so, you know, they do, they do have some seating. Bring some cushions. Uh, that could be really rough on the bum I am afraid but hey that's all right okay entrance into the park all right so it looks like we have some more seating down in different areas that's weird they've got all of these uh okay that looks like the for the teams and the managers training stuff nice all right looks like a lot of standing crowd right up to the edge of the pitch that's cool ooh bonnie rig rose on knives edge all right so yeah it looks like a lot of standing room but we do have they do have the seats we did see the the covered stands there but it looks like they come up to the rail anyway. All right, well, that's cool. All right. No, that's, uh, you know, this is this is kind of like that, that neighborhood club. Oh, we are starting, so in game, it's the club's 175th season. So that is good. So let's take a quick look at transfers. We're only going to do one match today. Uh, we are bringing a few people in. I have spent more money than I have wanted on salaries, but we're well within payroll allowance. Uh, we've got to, they keep raising the payroll budget every time I come here. It goes up. I thought it was in the low low three hundreds, then it was four oh nine, and now it's five thirty eight. And they haven't given me an email telling me they're increasing it. So that's pretty funny. Maybe it'll be a million dollars, but I'm going to have to really watch spending because at $200,000, they were actually barely breaking even. So we're going to lose $100,000 a year. Now, we do have over $900,000 in the bank. 
So we really need to get promoted this year to start making a step up. Uh, taking a quick look at the club affiliates, uh, Ross County is our senior affiliate. Problem is they're up in the premiership. And if we go to the premiership and then work our way back, that's one, two, we're three levels behind them. My experience with trying to get loan players is they don't want to come down more than two levels. So yeah, that is, well, hold on. I forgot to turn that off. All right. Um, they don't like to come down more than two levels. So we were not able to get any of their main players uh, to even have interest in us. And so that's been a concern. Taking a look at the season preview. There we go. Uh, we are picked fourth. Uh, Dumbarton and Cove Rangers were relegated. They're picked to go right back up. So we're going to have to make some headway to try to break into that because we are expected to win the league this year. Uh, might be might be a stretch. <laughs> might be a stretch. Uh, so anyway, if we take a look at club expectations, uh, they wanted us to reach the third round of the Scottish Cup. We'll be going in the second round. They wanted us competitive. Uh, we were knocked out in group stage. We had a rough group. And to be competitive in the in er Earn Brew Cup, I don't know what that means. We'll figure that out as we go along. All right. Keeping in mind, we are 2065. None of these players were alive when this, uh, you know, they're all fake players. Uh, they're called regens, if you're not familiar with Football Manager. But let's take a look. We just brought Ross Reed on trial. And we haven't sent anybody out. And this is what we've done for business. I paid six fifty for John McGinty. He's a decent keeper, and he would be our first choice keeper. However, <laughs> however, we then brought in another keeper in Jordan Johnson from our senior affiliate, and he's a better keeper. So he's only sixteen, and he's already better. So. He's going to get the bulk of the starts. He has allowed five goals in two matches, but we played some really rough teams. So that's going on. So we may try to put McGinty out on loan, or we may try to sell him and recoup our money. Uh, we're bringing in Sandy MacArthur on a free. He is a striker. He can also play uh, attack, both attacking wing positions. He doesn't have a whole lot of pace, but he's got dribbling, finishing, decent passing and whatnot. So he will be in the mix, probably as a starter. Jody Ransom, we needed one thing I one thing I could not find at all was fullbacks that were available on loan. So uh, this guy we had to go out and sign. Uh, he's not the greatest, but he can do a job at right back. His heading is really poor, um, so I don't know that he could do the job at center back. We'll see. He's just really depth uh, because we were really lacking in, in depth on the back line. Uh, same thing with Kareem Daniel. He's uh, from Trinidad and Tobago, I believe is where that's from. 85 international caps. He can play all three back line and the right wing back position. Uh, he's got some pace, decent crossing, and uh, solid solid technicals for this level. Uh, the fact that he could play four positions is what made him appealing, again, mainly for depth. Alex D Dalglish comes in on loan from Brora. I will work on the names. I just don't have the Brog. Uh, but uh, like I said, do love the accents. So uh, he's got, uh, again, right. He could play the entire right side from the midline back and then the entire center line from the midline forward. So he fills a lot of voids. Not really good, not the greatest, but again, depth. And he was pretty inexpensive. Uh, so he's on loan. All of the guys we had, like, I did a search for all players that were loan listed in our scouting area, six people, six, 
And you can see we brought four of them in on loan. <laughs> uh, actually, we brought two of them in on loan. Two came from our senior affiliate. Uh, same boat. Uh, this will be one of our strikers, Aaron Grant. He's got uh, two appearances. He's not playing well. He's 20 years old. I think he's got some potential, mainly depth, but he has good finishing and good physicals. Uh, and then Chris Smith comes in on a free uh, central midfielder, very solid. He'll probably be in our top two. Uh, you can see he did play one match before coming to us. He just joined the club, so I think he's going to be in our mix for top two. Rotational three in the midfield. And then from our senior affiliate, we brought in a pretty solid winger, can play on both sides. Uh, primarily left, good pace and acceleration, decent enough technicals. He's only 17. The fans on the grading were everything was basically C's or worse uh, on all these guys. And then, Andy, uh, not Andy Clark, we just looked at him. The other guy was the keeper, uh, Jordan Johnson, that we looked at. So he's on loan. So that's the club that we're going to be, you know, that's the, that's the transfer business. I, I really don't think we're going to do any more unless we get rid of some players. Uh, we did alienate our captain because we transfer listed him. We did not offer him out, and he blew up, and uh, he is now horrible. So uh, let's see, Ross Reed. So we put the transfer uh, um trial and he went to four far so i don't believe we've got anything required from a match day standpoint at least not that i'm aware of that i've run into yet so we're opening the league with former former for martin for martin martin, <laughs> martin. uh gabriel. little gabriel iglesias action there for Martin United, uh, we are the underdogs, so I am going to, oh, take a quick look. We did not fare very well in our friendlies. We did win 5-0 against one of our subordinate clubs. Uh, we lost 1-0 to Crusaders, 1-1, uh, a draw. That was actually pretty good because that was against Carlisle. Carlisle's in League 2 in England. Uh, then in the uh, League Cup, we uh, we played tough. Uh, Clyde, we lost 1-0. Air United, we lost 1-0. Partick Thistle beat us 2-0. We were a man down most of the second half. Motherwell, we sc we scored a goal. Blair Beatty scored a goal, but we lost 3-1. And then we beat our other affiliate, junior affiliate, 3-1. Jody Ransom, John McGinney, and Blair Brimner. Uh, maybe that's Billy Brimner's uh, grandson or something, or great-grandson, uh, the great Leeds United player. And if again, if you're new to the channel, coming in because of uh, the club here, uh, big Leeds United fan, so uh, you do get that. All right, let's get back to this. So we're going to play our 4-4-2 tactic with the deep lying uh, midfielder, and we're not. I, I wasn't playing this early, so we're still awkward at it. Playing's the only way we're going to get better. Uh, because we are a semi-pro team, so that is what it is. I am going to drop that to a goalkeeper on defend. And let's see. So Jody Ransom is suspended. He got the red card. Ross McKimmy, we're not going to be playing a lot. I'd like to get rid of him if we can. In fact, uh, we do have him listed. Let's go ahead and offer him out to clubs. Uh, I'm going to offer him out for unspecified. And anybody else? I do have a couple of the loanies on the bench. McFarlane, kind of like him. He's got pace. I wouldn't mind him. Jones, if we look at him, where does he fit in our depth chart? Pretty low. So that is what it is. All right, well, let's just play because I need to get familiar with the team as well. So we're going to have Bremner and Murphy up top, Brendel and Ray Devaney, who I've been very impressed with. 
Uh, that's definitely somebody to keep an eye on. 20 years old, good crossing, lots of pace. Can't pass very well, but he's been pretty darn impressive uh, in the early going. Uh, on the wings, McKenzie and Beatty in the mid. Central mid, Gibson and Daniel. Wingbacks, Avenel, McGregor. Central defenders and Johnson in the goal. So again, only one match today. That's typical when we do the transfer special, uh, either at the beginning of the season or in the mid-season transfer window. I see a lot of four five ones, especially in the lower leagues here. And because it's our first game, I'm going to give them the little faith speech and hopefully get a little green, which I really did not, which is disappointing. All right, we are in the yellow. I do like those kits. They're not bad. Daniel's going to lump this into the box. And it's headed in, Bobby Brindle. Fourth minute and first goal for the season for Bonnie Rig Rose. And we're up 1-0. Very nice. Got to like that. Start off with our first shot on goal. Putting it in. Oh, a set piece. How's our set piece look? All right, Ray Devaney. And again, I like him, and it's in the net. His first goal of the season, and we're up 2-0. Ten minutes into the season. Well, that could stand well, because again, remember, the cl club expects us to win the league. They're uninterested. We've blown them off, off out of the park already. Avenel with a pass. No, that's bad. Good control. All right. They find Brindle deep into the corner. Lays it back to McKenzie. He takes a pop. It's in the net. And his first goal of the season, Brindle with the assist. And Bonnie Rig Rose is up 3-0. I love the team name, I got to tell you. And you know, if you followed any of my first uh, part of the save, what I usually do with Football Manager is this is my third year doing a YouTube channel with Football Manager. I have content that goes up uh, Monday through Saturday. Sunday's the only day I don't upload a video. And so three years I've been doing this. Typically, I always have teams that have prison kits, you know, with, with stripes and, you know, or, or red, which I'm not a big fan of as a Leeds United fan, you can imagine. And that goes wide of the mark. Keep this clean sheet going. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to tell them to concentrate. They are overwhelmed, but that's okay. Um, and what I mean by prison uniform is exactly that with the stripes on it. Not a big fan of that. <laughs> Uh-oh, our defender got beat, and there goes our clean sheet. David McAllister, first goal of the season against us for Four Martin United. Four Martin all right, five shots, three on target, and three goals. I don't think we uh, can have any issue with that. So, very good. All right. I am doing a lot more of the, a uh, lot of stuff that I assigned to, um, no, no. Clear it out. Thank you. All right. We're coming up on the 60th minute. All right. Let's go ahead and nobody's really dying yet, but I just want to put some different people in. Let's give Jack Jones a game. Uh, McKenzie. Let's give David Scott some match time. We'll make two subs here. We're going to praise. They're overwhelmed. We're fired up. All right. They've actually gotten more shots, which I'm okay with that, man. All right. And I think we're going to go ahead and pull Bobby Brindle off. Andy Baxter, you're the man. All right. Let's tighten up. Looks like we were going to have a corner there, but nothing happened. 
Nobody decided to mark anybody on the wing there. That's that's interesting. Come on. Oh, good. Oh, good save. Good block, and we suffer from that immensely. Whenever we make a good play on defense, it always bounces right to a player on the opposing team to set up a empty net shot or whatever. All right, well, we are going to take that. Pretty evenly matched. We had possession, three chances to one. So we'd like to work on that. But being that we have a, a pretty raw tactic that they're not familiar with yet, we're going to praise them. Hopefully that starts to get the morale going in the right direction. Morale is so important in football manager. You just, you know, you got to get that going. All right. Well, hey, we are top of the league here in the early going on goal differential. Got to be happy with that. And, yeah, the tried and tested. That's the tactic I've been using for several seasons going back to my old save. So just to kind of finish up that thought, so this is my third year doing football manager, and usually I do two separate saves. I do one. Uh, the game usually comes out October, November. I do a save for basically the first six months and then I end it, and then I do a separate save. So in this one, what I did is I, when I first started, I played ahead for 30 seasons just to get a backlog of history, um, league movement, and what have you. That's why teams like Bonnie Rigg are now up in the level that they are in Scottish League 2. Um, and, you know, all the players, you know, the Ronaldos and uh, the Neymars, they're all retired and long gone. Most of the players that were in the reserve teams, the youth teams, they've all aged and retired. So these are all what we call new gen players, if you're not familiar with Football Manager. Uh, regens, new gens, these are players that are created by the game. So all of these players are fake, fictitious. Um, and then, you know, we can kind of make our own history. So most most guys that do YouTube videos, they use the current season, so you've got the real players. So I tried that. I tried this this year. It's my first year doing this, and I kind of like it because I think it's unique. It sets me apart a little bit. And so what I did here is when I ended my first save in May of 2065, I retired that manager. I started a new manager, and boom. Uh, and speaking of. Uh, let's take a look at him. So uh, quarter star reputation, we just started off. As I mentioned, I did give myself a C license on the assumption that at 30 years old, I've been started coaching an assistant coach, got my first license, and that's what set me up to get my first head coaching job. And that's where we are. So uh, we've won one, lost four, and that counts cup games. So it is what it is. Where do we come back? That's the big question. So if we take a look at the league, Scottish League 2 rules, we have 36 games. We play each other four times in the season. So it's a long, protracted season. So we'll see a lot of matches, but I'd still like to stay, you know, somewhere in that seven to eight match range. Um, I think that's kind of what I'm comfortable with per season. So if we go eight, that's basically every four games. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll come back for the end of August against Gala Feridane. And I don't, Feridane, Feridane, and Montrose. I would like to play Montrose because that was a club that I uh, submitted an application and uh, the fans laughed me off. They said I wasn't good enough to manage them. So it would be nice to be able to blow them out. So that gives me a handful of games as well. Uh, the Earn Brew, I'm probably not going to pay a lot of attention to Cups this year. Um, although depending on who we draw, 
that might well you know what i'd like to play cove because they're coming from the higher league so maybe let's come back for peterhead and gala faradane and then that gives us two matches before cove and this cup match i like that that's the plan uh, always subject to change First episode of a new save, please, please consider hitting the like button. I don't ask anybody for money. I don't have enough subscribers or views on the channel to make get money off of these. So hopefully you guys don't even see ads because that would be really sad on YouTube's part to put ads in my videos if they're not monetized, right? So, um, you know, the only thing I ask you guys to do is subscribe, follow along, and view the episodes as you can. Uh, I do have the daily content, and being that this is the first episode, the more likes on it, the more chance it's going to make it up into the YouTube algorithms to let more people know about it, because most of you guys that make comments tell me that you like what I'm doing, and that the content's pretty good, and uh, I do appreciate that. Thank you very much, but uh, the more people that can see it, the better for me and the better for the channel, so... Thank you very much. We'll see you guys next time. And I look forward to this. I look forward to the new save, and I look forward to the new team. Let me know what you think on the transfers. It's hard to judge not knowing a whole lot about League 2, but um, it is the 115th out of 118 uh, teams uh, league. So, you know, I think we're pretty far down. So we've got some talent, so hopefully we can make it stand up. Guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.